Welcome back to the Roadshow. This morning in the buzz, a Memphis high school is getting a lot of attention, guys, after as many as 90 girls have either recently given birth or become pregnant. Well, now as school officials are trying to figure out what's going on, even celebrities are speaking out about the situation, and they're blaming television shows like MTV's Teen Mom. Now, yesterday, Kim Kardashian actually blogged about the issue, saying, quote, the kids from these shows are all over the news, even on the covers of magazines, and they've become almost like celebrities. But these are not people you should idolize. Didn't her sister? This kind of happened to her, didn't it? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, she was out of wedlock. Anyway, many experts agree that those shows could be a part of the problem. Take a look. So much of our society now is so sexually oriented. Mm -hmm. And as adults, we can look at that and it doesn't impact our behavior. That's what they're filling their minds with, is the music, the TV, and all of this media that supports mm -hmm. sexual activity. So there you go. There's the debate right there. And I mean, do you think that TV shows like Teen Mom actually glorify teenage pregnancy? Yes, yes. I do. Yeah. No doubt about it. And it, I, I call it the, uh, the real world effect. Yeah. The minute the show, The Real World, came on TV, which mm -hmm. was probably... 90s, right? Was it 90s? I was think I, 90s. I thought I might have been in high school, but anyway, early yeah. 90s, yeah. which promoted, you know, um, casual sex mm -hmm. and uh, acting without any sort of uh, fear of any recourse or responsibility. Mm -hmm. That just opened the floodgates, and I don't remember the last time MTV played a music video. I it's know. It's just about shows, yeah, about sex, long. about not wearing clothes, about, you know, not being responsible. Right. And, and people I don't, Yeah, I mean, it's, it's bad. You know, I actually had a debate with my dad about this. I debate with my father a lot. You'll get to hear that over time. And, you know, he likes to blame the media for certain things. And sometimes I think he, you know, he may be right, and sometimes I think he's wrong. But I think in this case he's right about glorifying teenage pregnancy. I mean, the show does its best to try to show the problems and the stresses of teenage pregnancy. But, but the very nature of having it as a show glorifies it, you know, because these people become followed, you know, you're following their story, their pictures are taken, it's not just somebody in your hometown who's dealing with it, it's, you know, getting national attention. Exactly, like you said, they try and make it seem like it's a problem that they're yeah. struggling, and some of these young girls are, and you can tell, but at the same time, they're on the cover of magazines, yeah. they're getting paid very handsomely for mm -hmm. what they do, and just, you know, being on TV, and then, I know that even girls that I graduated with are younger than me, I've seen a tremendous growth in yeah. young girls having kids without being married, without, I mean, teenage pregnancy, I feel, is almost becoming a fad. Well, here's another problem, though. You guys got to remember, so this high school that w we brought up in the beginning, 90 girls either having had birth or yeah. about to, it's all about the safe sex. No matter what you put on TV, if mm -hmm. people aren't practicing safe sex, you know what I'm saying? Like, mm -hmm. that's part of the problem, too. Why are you grinning like that, Papa Patrick? It starts at home. It starts yeah. with parenting. Yeah. You know, I, it's pretty simple. Yeah. Birds of the bees, baby. It, it, it takes two to make this sort of thing mm -hmm. happen, and you got to know what you're doing when you do it. And if, if, if there's not anybody, you know, keeping an eye on their kids and getting into these situations, mm -hmm. then it starts at home, and I believe that. And, uh, you know, I... I I, that's how I was raised, and I, I, well, that's how I raised my kids. Right, right. And, uh, man, it's just so sad to see that. Listen, I'm 38 years old, about to have my third, mm. and I'm not even responsible enough at some times <laughs> to take care of kids. And I I've know. got a job, my wife's got a job, and you're talking about teenagers that we are worried about dates and social study know, exams. So and, and, and they haven't even finished high school half of the time, so it might look It's like a childhood fun lost, and, let's and face dandy, it. Lost but childhood, yeah. exactly. Yeah, we don't want any part of that. So Have a child, lose your own childhood. Yeah, well, hopefully we can sure. reverse that trend at some point. But, Courtney, what are people saying on uh, on the blog today about, about this situation? They agree with this debate? A little bit. There's a lot of mixed factors out there, which they do agree that it starts at home, and plus there's other organizations out there that can help with free birth control and stuff like that. So we will hop on the live blog right now and and see what all of our viewers are saying and Jean said it's hard to tell teenage girls are very impressionable but I really don't understand why they get pregnant with all the free birth control methods out there Lisa G says being a teen mother myself you would think seeing how hard it is on TV would stop them but I think these shows do make them want to have babies to get on TV and Tripp says I don't think it's TV shows alone I think it's the general attitude of people doing what they want and when they want without thinking about the good 
or the bad consequences of their actions. Here's the poll on FoxProvidence.com. Do you think TV shows about teenage pregnancy have an influence on young girls? A, yes, it normalizes it and impacts behavior. Or B, no, TV shows are not the only problem. We've had a lot of activity on our Facebook page this morning. And we'll start with Jessica, who says that these young girls see these shows and think that they, too, can get on one of them and make money. It's really sad. And then Beth Larkin goes on to say, everyone wants to put the blame on someone else. I am 27, and Teen Mom makes me still not want kids. And Monica says, I'm a mother of a three-year-old, and I have watched these shows. And no, I don't think that these shows are influencing teen girls to get pregnant. And then Renee says, for some, yes, but she also thinks a child's upbringing and their life has a lot to do with it. So a lot of mixed factors there this morning, but we will see what the uh, poll results will be and what you all have to say in that, and we'll have that in about a half hour.